Hi everyone, it's Danny. So here we have the Etta Glossom Summit Frenchtown Orchid, which is absolutely beautiful. I simply love the colors. Um, brown and orange orchids, kind of hard to find, right? So I really love this this cross. Now, funny thing about this, I don't find it registered anywhere. But if I search on the internet, I find that it has won some awards. And on some forums, people actually know the parents. And I'm going to tell them to you based on what I read. Uh, now, the parents are Odontoglossum victoniense and Ada Kilana. I'm so sorry if I pronounce it. Uh, wrong, but I do uh, have it in the description, so check it out. Okay, so I'm not sure why exactly I don't find it on the RHS, um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, the name um, is what it matters, so you will find this orchid under this name of Atta Glossum. Um, Summit French Town. Now, this is not what I would call a, um, a fragrant orchid, but if you stick your nose into the flower, you will feel a sort of a very faint sweet artificial scent, which is quite nice. Um, she's not boring. <laughs> anyway, no. <laughs> Orchids that are not fragrant are not boring. I'm just a fragrance freak. Okay, so a little words on this one. Since um, it's a uh, odontoglossum hybrid, it kind of um, resembles Oncidium care. It likes lots of bright light, careful with careful with too much sun exposure, um, try to give it loads of water, keep it slightly moist all the time, don't make it go bone dry for um, more than uh, a day or so. If you if you keep it too dry you're gonna have really wrinkled leaves and curly flower spikes and all the bonuses. <laughs> so yeah, first thing to remember, Odontoglossum uh, really like moisture actually, they like moisture more than Oncidium, I've noticed. And they do produce um, this flower spike with a lot, a lot of buds. Now the flower spikes can actually branch out. I don't have a branch on this one, but it came with the spike. But it can actually branch out and put out um, a lovelier flower spike. All it needs is some TLC. Okay, so if you want to have this flower, you can find it at grocery shops actually. This is where I found it. Didn't come with the name tag, but I already knew this particular hybrid. It's, um, it's hard to miss. When you see this color, it's really hard to miss uh, the name. Okay, so if you want to have it, search for the name. Looking in um, garden centers or grocery stores. It's a pretty common orchid, I've noticed. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see other identification videos, subscribe to my channel. And, um, yeah, you'll stay up to date with orchids and with it with their identification as far as I can tell. Um, also, I'm doing the Q&A video, so if you have a question or a suggestion for a video, place it in a comment and um, I will answer you with a video. Okay, thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye!